previously on Shenmue. Um, school kids should be at school or home. Yes, sir. And so we continue. Yo, dude. Oh, you seem a bit blue, my man. Got a problem? Then I'm your man. Yeah, right. I know everything about this tier harbor. Whatever it is, just ask. I want a job here. What should I do? So wanna be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man. Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, wait, hold up. I'll be man. I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo. Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Mm, well... Mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow, in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. Twelve noon, warehouse number one, in front of the big blue door. Right on, bro. See ya. Alright, for some reason, like, I think my recording just janked up. I think I ran out of space or some shit. So, I think th I'll just sim simplify what just happened. Um, I went to the harbor, I think as you probably will see in the YouTube video. And I saw that one guy that I beat up before. And he just didn't like, yeah, he set me up with a... Uh, a job interview tomorrow at noon at warehouse number one. So that's what I gotta do. Just go to sleep, go to warehouse number one, and we'll be back on track. Hopefully the my audio recording keeps it this time. I don't know what happened. It just glitched out on me really badly. And also, I learned from my brother that I think it's already too late for me to learn a certain move, like one of the old moves called Double Blow. I'm supposed to learn it from Yamaguchi Sensei, the guy with the jacket in the park that I showed the mirror. I was supposed to do it around like disc one, but now it's too late because I'm already in disc three, so I lost a move. But I did learn Fukusan's move, the uh, yeah, the, uh, what is it? What did I learn? I learned. Uh, the pit blow. Yeah, you you could you could miss pit blow and you could miss a bunch of moves. You could miss that freaking wall scroll, you could miss a bunch of stuff, but whatever, it's okay. It's just my playthrough. And I I guess I rushed it, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent completionist. Hopefully I'll have it in my Shenmu 2. Damn, I can't even sleep yet. Maybe I could sleep at eight. You know what that means? Five minutes. Of hip hop, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The funky rhythm, huh? Let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a ride, dude. Alright, hopefully I can go to sleep now. Let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a ride. Can I go to sleep now? That's bummed out. I freaking loved, um, um, I forgot what movie it's called. Double Blow. That was one of my favorites. I'm only trying to save it on a different file just in case shit gets all jacked up. Yeah, because I love that move. You learn it from Yamaguchi san and in the park. He talks to you about your dad. But I guess it's too late for me to learn that one. It's because I didn't go that route. That's why I would always go the opposite route. I always go left, not right. On the, that that like the Mon Pa candy store, I always go left to towards the park instead of the opposite, instead of the other park. Today's allowance. So I missed it. That sucks. It's all good though. 
and welcome back I guess hey, is, uh, my shitty ass intro welcome back guys so I think I I came back from uh, my other playthrough I did like a good five hours last time I guess I should just go ahead and beat this now in this single playthrough here I'm on the third disc anyway from first disc to third disc so should be good let's feed the cat and then, uh, what else? Get more. Go, yeah, go to my job. Give it milk. Oh no, give it tuna today. I'll give it milk tomorrow. There you go. Have some of this tuna. Here, eat it. It's tasty. She must have been very hungry. Yeah, and she looks real happy. Thank you, Dio. No problemo. Alright, on to the next. Do you like this? On to the next. Yeah, this is still one of my favorite freaking games, dude. Of all time. You, Suzuki, is fucking one of the best. <laughs> I don't have to get fucking GoFundMe for to finish the, freaking making this the 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 last one. This way, this is the shortcut to the fucking. I never take this route, but this is the shortcut to uh, to the bus stop, to the park, and to the arcade. I never go this route, and I think this is where my brother went, and that's why he got that other move, but. I'm just super bummed out. I was like, fuck, I f I'm never gonna get it. <laughs> so let's just keep going then. Keep going then, dude. You learn it right here from Yamaguchi Sensei. Around disc one. Damn it, I missed my train too, dude. I mean, my. What day is it today? The, uh, it's Saturday, so 15, never mind. It's coming right now. Oh, it's on the opposite side, you huh? saw? There it goes. And here it comes. Yeah, it's weird. So, the guy that I beat up <laughs> when I entered the harbor before, he's actually like buddy buddy with me right now because I think it's because he looks up to me. So, now he's trying to. I guess he's going to hook me up with a job or he's going to trap me. Warehouse number one at noon, but I'm just going to go early. It's better to be early than late because, like what happened last, my other, my the previous video, I went there late and you miss it. That's it. You don't. You have to go wait till the next day like that. House number one. There we go. I'm early today. Number eight. Number four, three, two, over there. This one. Hey man, I got an appointment here. I'm a little early. Excuse me. I'm afraid you are destroyed. Oh my Please. god. Alright. Just make sure I know which. Goro. His name is Goro. Hey, bro. Like that. Don't do that. Warehouse number one. Alright, I'll go buy something real quick. To kill some time. Where's the food place at? Over here.
Man, I don't remember this game at all. It's been like how many years? 15 years um, or whatever. Sorry, but I don't much feel. <laughs> <Leave me. laughs> I see. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Go buy some cat stuff. What you got over here? Dried fish. Dried fish is 300. Let's go give him some dried fish then. Look at that. What you know about that? I'll take this, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I'll look at that fourth place constellation prize. Can I draw a raffle ticket? Please come again. I guess it's too late. Like that. Maybe a coffee, dude. Because I need one right now in real life. Get some Japanese coffee, dude. Not a winner, but at least I get to drink, dude. <laughs> Not a winner, but at least I get to drink. Ooh. Ah, good. <laughs> He's a kid or whatever, drinking coffee. People say that it's bad to drink coffee as a little kid. Like it stenches your growth or something, I don't know. Honestly, don't give a damn. <laughs> the kid wants to drink coffee, just go ahead and drink coffee, bro. <laughs> You're gonna get jacked up, dude. You're gonna get jacked up, dude. I'm not really wanting to preach, like, good, good whatever. I smoke and all that stuff. I do all that crap, so <laughs> it's like. Eh, I'm not really, I'm not going to preach you not to drink or do bad things. It's up to you, man. It's, like, it's up to you, mans. Do whatever you want. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like that. What's that? Who's a YouTube guy that used to say that? Uh, it's the Hodge Twins. <laughs> Hodge Twins are fucking Cali muscle, dude. One of those. <laughs> you could do whatever the fuck you want to do. Excuse me. I'm afraid you are disrupting the work. Stay back. Sir. All right. Sir, I got an appointment here. I'm going to go walk in. Hey, you. You can't enter without permission. Hey, get out of here. Oh, my God. You're like that other guard. We've been expecting you, sir. Like that. <laughs> hey, get out of here. I have an appointment with Mr. Chan. Oh, we've been expecting you, sir. Come on, Goro. Maybe he's over here. Even though he says the blue doors, right? They said 12. And that's number 12 over there. And he, I saw him over here, you know? So. Yeah. Maybe I'm just super duper early. Super duper early, man. Come on, dude. Maybe you're back here. In the alley, huh? Maybe you're doing bad things. Maybe all up in the cut over here. Now. A window? Look at this window view. That's the best window view ever. Straight to a wall. Fire hazard, dude. <laughs> well, I still got 30 minutes. Damn, Goro knows some of the people around here? Who's that? Oh, he's just squatting, having a cigarette. He's just squatting, having a cigarette, dude. I don't want to. Do I just stay here? It's a lot of waiting, dude. Got anything? Huh? Ain't caught a thing all day. I think I'm going to have to change my spot. Hey, you're that guy saved. 
What kind of fish do you catch here? Um, haven't caught a single fish all day. Maybe because the waves are too high? I said, what kind of fish do you catch here? Not... No. <laughs> Did you catch anything, dude? Caught anything? Huh? I've done better. But it don't matter if I catch anything or not. Casting and waiting is so relaxing. Yeah, I give it that. I give it that. I used to like fishing. Until fucking Mexico polluted our waters, dude. <laughs> I live like I'm living in a border town next to Mexico. And every time it rains or like thing I don't know what the hell's going on. Like they hate Trump so badly that they start polluting the water or some burning garbage and stuff like that. So now the water's polluted and it smells like crap. Like legit sewage, like poo poo. And the water is contaminated. So even if we fish, we're eating like contaminated fish. <laughs> so it's like terrible. I used to love to go fishing, even for the sport of it. But now I don't even want to touch them because if they're contaminated, it's like what the hell? It's like fishing in Chernobyl. It's like damn, why are you gonna fish there, dude? Like that's <laughs> radioactive. So it's just better than just not to fish at all. Screw it, you know. Sad days for everyone. Oh, what's that? That's a little Mimi, dude. Little Mimi. Mimi, are you cold? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mimi, are you cold? Yeah. Hey, Tom, what's going on, dude? Tom. Hi! You're looking good. Yeah, I'm always grooving, man. If I move, more customers may come. Yeah, sure. Keep it grooving, man. Good stuff. Let me ask Mr. Chan, dude. Can I borrow your phone? Like that? Do you have a phone? Uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. As far as I know, Master Chen is not expecting you. I'm afraid I can't let you in. Can I borrow your phone? God damn it. It's alright, I don't need to see him anyway. That, dude. The USS Constitution, dude. No, I'm just joking around. Come on. It's 12. I'm gonna be late. It's 12. Okay, here. Oh, cutscene. With the freaking air raid siren. Yo, there he bro! Is. I've got you a job, man! Really? Thanks. Yeah, dude, you're my best friend now. But you know, I had to go through quite a lot of hassle for you, though, bro! What'd you say? That'd be the job I found! Shut your lip, woman! Hello, Mai. Hi, Adyo. Hey! You two know each other! Airhead here asked me to find it for you. I'm always delivering lunch to Harbor Dorm, so I asked the foreman I know for you. Batting her little eyes like, oh pretty please, Mr. Foreman, huh? Ow! So, where should I go? Be at the Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. I'm pretty Just sure she's called Yata, Baca, You have an appointment. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See ya. Thanks, I forgot what, what you just said because I was concentrating on the <laughs> straight up said geek. Speak to Yadasan, Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. Oh okay. Oh by 2 p.m. Yeah, by two. So we better go right now. We better go right now. Off a trading office like last time. Except this time, <laughs> they're not gonna freaking tell me. No, no, we don't have any room. Get out of here. Oh, it's him. You don't like school Excuse boys me. here. What do you want? Yeah, it is him. Are you Yadasan? Yeah, that's me. 
Maisa, at the lunch stand, mentioned me? Oh, yes. Maya from the lunch stand. Yes, she did. Can you start right away? Hell yeah. Yes. Damn, I'm already working, dude. Grueling labor, huh? You, uh, ever drive a forklift? No, sir. I have. Oh, uh, well. The small Break ones, something, the big ones. It'll be deducted. Yes. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec! Okay, boss. Yeah, boss. <laughs> yeah, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. I see. Mark, show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Oh Hello, goodness. I'm Dio Hazuki. Hey, man, I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift, it's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. All aboard. All right, no permit, no nothing, no training. Let's do it. This is hands-on training, dude. No orientation, no freaking permit needed, no safety precaution, no... <laughs> no warnings, no nothing, dude. Just learn, like that. Immediately learn. Okay, you ready? Let's start your lesson. First turn the wheel either left or right. Part of that. Good, that's it. Next, press the accelerator. Is it R1? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Yeah, Press yeah. the accelerator harder. Let's do it. Okay, good. Now back up. Different from accelerating. Good shit. Yeah, that's it. Finally try raising and lowering the lift. How do I do that? Wrong one. I don't know how to raise it. That's wrong, kid. That's the steering wheel. How the fuck do I raise it, sir? It's a... Okay, not too bad. Now, you try moving that crate. Take that crate to warehouse number three, just there. First slide the fork under the crate. Then lift the crate and go. Right then, cool, cool, cool. Damn, you fucking on point. Look how fucking... Ooh, look you, you hitting the other boxes, dude. Your clearance, man. Check your clearance. Easy, ain't it? Okay, now it's your turn. Place the crate within the grid marking the floor of the warehouse. What happens if I... Okay, for the rest of the day, you'll be training, alright? Take the rest of the crates to warehouse number three. Okay. I gotta get back to work, so finish the rest yourself. Damn, this is training? No it's actually doing work. Here's your training, doing work. <laughs> I got this then, dude. So... Ooh, look at that. First person view. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, there's two levels, dude. Oh, I see. There's a double, and then the one to put it on top. Oh, oh I guess not. I jacked up, dude. I jacked up. I want to put it on top of it. It goes all the way to the top. You know what, I fucked up. Whatever. I'm putting it right here. Hell yeah. Because <laughs> lowering and raising it is the same button, so... I can't carry two? I'm not gonna even try it. I already know that's a trap. This is a single man forklift. Can't carry two with this thing, dude. It's too small. Overburdened, dude, is what that's called. Let me put this on this bad boy, dude. When does work end? Oh, gee, I'm tired. Let's go to work. I mean, let's go to sleep now, dude. Like, <laughs> let me take my break. <laughs> I'm tired. Gee, I'm tired. That's enough work for me. Like, yeah. Like construction workers, they just freaking do nothing and chill on the thing. And I'm just joking. Around. They're not actually working, they're just chilling. Oh, 
Yeah, look how pro I am, dude. Uh-oh. I did Austin Powers, dude. <laughs> what happens if that happened? Nobody told me about that, man. Oh my god, I'm so... I'm so slow, dude. I need to freaking hurry up. Can we just break the regulations? Can we do two? I won't be able to get it inside when I lift it. Forget it. Forget it then, dude. Look how sloppy these things are. Somebody's gonna die in this freaking place. <laughs> Can I turn around, dude? Oh my god. You know what? Fuck it. I can't. See, it does that noise. Okay. I'll just assume that's what happens when you try to carry two. Sounds like the gears are breaking and shit. I wish you could look behind me, but... Okay, okay. Change camera view, raise the lower. That's it, yeah. Very simple. We just make it first person the whole time. Hell yeah. Way easier, dude. Way easier, dude. Fuck it. Way easier, dude. I don't care about who's behind me, right? If you're behind me, you're gonna die like that. Oh, that's it? Finished for the day. I was ready to keep going. Can I do overtime? Oh, good work. Thank you. You're getting used to the forklift. Hell yeah, I got it down. I suppose so. About your wage. You start at 300 yen per crate. There's a quota every day, so don't go slacking off. Yes, sir. So today was just training, huh? If you do good enough and meet quota, I'll give you a raise. Damn. I understand. Time for me to slop well, these boxes. <laughs> Time for me Thank to slop much. these crates. Look at the Japanese construction helmet. You know what it reminds me of? Mega Man. <laughs> like that. Mega Man. Yo. Oh, what's Mark. up? I need you to come tomorrow at 9 a.m., okay? Alright, bro. Yeah, I sure. guess you're my lead, huh? There's something we gotta do before work. Alright. Before work? Really? Yeah, man. So I You'll see when you get here. Oh, and don't be late. Uh oh, not. I gotta. Okay. I gotta wake up earlier now. I gotta wake up earlier. Hopefully he wakes up, cause I ain't gonna make it. Gather info about the mad angels while working at the docks. Hisakusa. Well. Do you know anything about the mad angels? Mad? What? I haven't a clue. <laughs> what is it? If you don't know, don't worry about it. I'll be on my way. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know, forget about it. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Like that. You know who should know? The homeless guy. Give him a little tips. Like that. Give him a little tip, dude. Thank you for your information. Like that. Thank you for the information on the Mad Angels. Oh yeah, you want a box, dude? You want to train? Got a minute? Excuse me. My pro boxing trial exam is soon. Pro boxing? Wow. I shouldn't fuck with that guy then. The homeless guy is gone. Completely missing like that. Where is he? He's the key, huh? He's the key. 
Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know a group called the Mad Angels? Oh no! They are very dangerous, man. Are they supposed Rio, to? Be... Don't get mixed up with them. Are they supposed to be like the Hell's Angels? Do you know anything else? <laughs> they ride motorcycles around and attack people. It's obviously Lots the Hell's of Angels. Lots homeless dude. at the harbor get attacked and beaten by dude, them. Dude, I just said That's that. That's vicious, huh? Real crazy mothers. Really? This homeless guy is dead. Like that. Where is this homeless guy? I gotta find it. I have a few hours to do it. This homeless guy is dead. <laughs> He's not under where he usually stays at. Alright, time to search before I fuck up. Again. Hey! Hey, Goro! Goro. What's grooving, bro? Hey, bro. What's going on, man? You know about the I like your pompadour angels. hat. I mean, your pompadour hat. Oh, yeah. Hat. Oh, yeah. Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? <laughs> you don't say that name so loud. Why not? Just because. You know about the mad angels? Hey. Oh, bro. <laughs> Didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? <laughs> I like that this guy so much, man. That kind of talk is taboo around here. He was an Why? enemy, but now he's friends. I ain't privy to say. I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but... But I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you. I like his little the bad oh, shirt. <laughs> about the mad angels. I done told you, bro. <laughs> don't say that so loud. He's so, You're really so dim asking dude. for a world of hurt. Really? What about the mad angels? Goro. You bet, bro. Goro, what about those mad angels? Hey, man, don't say that. Goro, what about those mad angels? <laughs> hey, man, you know I'm out of here, Mark. Hey, good work. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Good stuff, Mark. Take it easy, bro. What about those mad angels? <laughs> what? No, bro! <laughs> That's my fa- <laughs> That's like my favorite thing in the whole game, dude. Like that, him. He's my favorite voice actor from now on, dude. Hey boss, do you know anything about the mad angels? I wanna go to their freaking play- This motherfucker knows. You know about the mad angels. Got a minute? Do you know anything about the mad angels? How the hell would I know? No, he doesn't. Fuck it then. He's either playing dumb or trying to be Mr. Tough Guy, dude. Where is that place that I saw before? Man, that homeless guy is gone. Tom said he beat up homeless people and the homeless guy is no longer here. Anything here like that? Nothing? Nope. What in the world, dude? What in the world? So... I think I'll learn more, but... I, I feel sad for this homeless guy that I... I know shit's going down, and then... Nothing's being done about it. I don't know, the homeless guy's dead. <laughs> like that. The homeless guy's dead. Okay. Damn, I remember it's already getting late though. I should just go back then. <laughs> that sucks. Maybe talk to. Nah, fuck it. I've got plenty of time to ask around. Never mind then, dude. I'm supposed to. Oh yeah, super. Who do I talk to? Um. I should talk to what's that? his face, huh? 
Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? You shouldn't get yourself involved in that stuff. You could get hurt. I see. Oh. Oh, that's just nighttime. I'm pretty sure that homeless guy is dead. <laughs> like that. I have plenty of time to ask around. Homeless guy is dead. Um. Yeah, let's go freaking call. What's his face? What the hell is the number? God damn it, I don't remember it. It's, uh. Man, what is it? I have to freaking go all the way. Oh my god, I have to flip all the way to the front. This is Hoxton from the Payday Crew. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Or fuck off.